Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I give you another tool to counter motion sickness on Oculus Quest 2. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell and find me on my Facebook page Advanced Via Fair and use the link in the description to buy your games on Instant Gaming with big discounts and using the link you will also support the channel, thank you. So if you missed, I already posted a video where I explain what is it motion sickness and how it works and also in this video I give some tips to counter it. In addition, to talking about this problem that arises in the vestibular system uh -huh. vestibular system which is the center of our balance I also show how to physically move inside the plane area while you play with those games that can cause motion sickness if you want to skip the whole explanation about motion sickness and what is it and how it works go straight to 8 minutes and 55 seconds of that video to see what is it the method that I recommend in addition to this since few weeks we have have another tool that can help us to counter motion sickness and I'm talking about the 120 Hz refresh rate on Oculus Quest 2 released with the latest update V28. But how come first you say that 120 Hz refresh rate is useless and now you say that 120 Hz refresh rate is useful for- no, shut the fuck up! In stand alone 120 Hz are totally useless but it doesn't mean that you cannot exploit the higher refresh rate to take a physical advantage from it. In fact, as I already explained in the first video, one of the major causes that gives you motion sickness is, right, the refresh rate. In fact, according on some tests that developers made about refresh rate, everything that is under 80 Hz have more chance to cause motion sickness, why everything is above 80 Hz can reduce or totally eliminate motion sickness. And since the minimum threshold is right 80 Hz, the 120 Hz refresh rate from Oculus Quest 2 can help many users to reduce or completely eliminate motion sickness and as I have already been able to test on some subjects that suffer of motion sickness and who kindly offered as volunteers for this experiment in effect it worked and 120 Hz refresh rate really helped these people to last longer in VR and in one cases the motion sickness completely disappeared right in the moment of the activation of 120 Hz refresh rate. And this is not a placebo effect because I didn't told them what the effect of 120 Hz is. Okay, but what about if the game doesn't support the 120 Hz? It doesn't matter. The game will anyway reach 60 FPS, okay? It doesn't matter, because the screen will anyway refresh at 120 Hz. Final advice at the end of this video, activate the 120 Hz experimental feature only with those games that actually causes you motion sickness, for two main reasons. First, battery drain faster, and also headset overheat faster. So limit the lasting of the sessions and limit the use of the 120 Hz refresh rate only with those games that really requires it. Okay, let me down in the comments if you already solved your problem or reduced the motion sickness activated the 120 Hz refresh rate and tell me if this was beneficial for you also. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell from Ben it's all. See you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.